Okay guys, we have a new Green Kid Crafts box here, right? Yes. Which one are we checking out today? Um, do you know it? Safari Science. Do you know what a safari is? Do you like these pictures? Do you like these animals here? What do we see? Lion. Lion. What else do we see? Giraffe. Oh, good one. What else? Hippo. Hippo? What's this one? Lion. No. And what's this one? Elephant. Elephant? What's this one? Zebra. Wow. So do you think Safari Science is about all those animals? Yeah. Let's read something. This is the magazine that came in our box. It says, Safari Science. What is a safari? This word safari means journey. Today, people who go on a safari trip observe and photograph various animals. What kind of animals do you think they observe? Uh, the ones we just looked at, right? Mm -hmm. what, what did we look at? Flying, um, lions and zebras and giraffes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And don't and elephants. They, so they most people think that Africa is on, the only safari destination, but that isn't so. As long as you're in a place where you can observe animals and their natural habitat, then you are on a safari. So you could take a safari where? Anywhere. Anywhere where you can observe animals and their natural habitat, we could do that in our backyard, right? How? If there's animals back there. Well. You see. Maybe. Maybe we wouldn't see a lot of animals, but yeah. there's a chance you could. Well, the bad ones, maybe it's going to rain today. But here we're looking at African animals. The wild animals of Africa are some of the most incredible creatures in the world. On this continent, you'll find the fastest, largest, and get this, weirdest Ew. animals on Earth. Unfortunately, many African animals are endangered species, including the African elephant, African lion, cheetah, black rhino, and mountain gorilla. The reason these animals are facing extin extinction include poaching uh, and loss of habitat because of deforestation and displacement. So that means that there's not many of them left, huh? And we don't we want to still have these animals because they're neat and interesting and beautiful creatures, huh? All right, so which project are we gonna start with in our safari science box, guys? Um, this one? The quicksand experiment. All right, can you check out the kit from the box? And let's see, we should have a quicksand mixture. Yep, right here. A couple animal figurines. Yep. Yeah, and, right and Dylan, you, you brought your own. You have your own. Um, animal beads, that's what the little ones are and then a lacing cord. We have all those things? Okay, so those come in our box. And then it said we needed a shallow bowl, a measuring cup and spoon, a quarter a quarter cup measuring cup and spoon. That's what okay. they use good for like, uh, like what's that they use for? This? Yeah. We gotta put some water into our quicksand. You just gonna like wet the water going here. Yeah. All right, you ready for the first step? Okay, yep. the first step says, pour the quicksand mixture into the bowl and slowly add one quarter cup of water. There is a mess alert here that says, cover your work area with newspaper. You think we should do that first? Yeah. Okay, let's do that real quick. Okay, so we have our quicksand mixture and we have our animals. Now, I wanted to try one thing. So the third instruction says, asks, what sinks faster, an animal laying down or one standing up? Um, I wanna try. Dylan, stop! We'll try with the same animal. Dylan, that guy's a little big for a bowl. Let, hold on, bud. Okay. All right. It's okay, I wonder if you can see it. It happens, we have to share. I'm trying, ooh, my finger's sinking. I know, but he's not really doing it. Dylan, watch out for one minute. Okay, now you try. Me? Yeah. Okay. One second. Keep your hands over here. You're gonna be able to do do all that in one second. No. Alright, stand it up. Ew, it's just yeah, but you, like you're pushing slime. it in. What sinks faster, okay? You love this? Mm. It fell over. What what do you think it sinks faster? It's not really that deep. Lying what do you down. think it would down. sink faster? Yeah, that makes sense to me. It says try lacing your animal beads with the cord to rescue them. So you can lace, so that's the next thing to do, and then you guys can play with that for a little bit. So where's the beads? Ah, oh, they're covered 
dripping goo. That's okay. Put them back in the, the mixture. Listen, it says we all know the dangers of quicksand, right? Do you know the dangers of quicksand? Mm. What happens in quicksand? You sink. Oh, good. You know that gooey stuff that grabs a hold of its victims and won't let go. Quicksand is loose wet sand that yields easily to pressure and sucks in anything resting on or falling into it. In this experiment, we used ordinary corn, an ordinary cornstarch mixture with sand to model the behavior of real quicksand. That's pretty interesting, huh? Yeah. Can you imagine there's real sand like that out there? Yeah. No. You can? No, 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 no. <laughs> All I right, just, we're going to play with this a little walking bit Walking into it, like... Getting no, stuck. I don't play with it. And no one's with me. Yeah, that'd be dun, scary. Dun, dun. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play with this for a while, right? Yes. Okay. Bye for now. <laughs>